right, today we're at this castle. I already forgot the name, so good job me. I'll put it right here, I'm so bad. It's beer still, I don't know. Anyway, let's go take a look at this castle and there's a moat, oh my gosh, so here we go. So I can confirm it is Beersel Castle or Castle Van Beersel. And the really nice thing about those signs and they have them all over is that they're in so many languages. You just scan the QR code and you make your way on in. So we're here with friends and just going to go take a look around inside. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a 14th century castle that has been silly, been being renovated. And the moat is amazing. The kids loved it and it was just so cool to see. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. This entire courtyard area does have picnic tables, which was awesome. And this is like a perfect picnic place to go. As we go upstairs, a lot of the rooms end up looking very similar to each other. If you have kids, just be very careful about the, the spiral staircases as there are not handrails on most of them. Uh, and then we get into these first areas and they're so cool. The fireplaces and these big, beautiful, gorgeous windows that I am dying over in every single room and the doors. I'd like 10 of each, please. And then the views back out were absolutely gorgeous. So while the rooms don't have anything in them necessarily, like beds or furniture, they're so cool to look at with the architecture. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're very similar. Um, like I said, but just each one has its own kind of like character and charm. And then of course they explain some of the, you know, drainage sewer systems. And again, there are these signs that you can scan to get more information for where you are in the castle. As we move up to the next floor, you can see it does look very similar to the first one. They have just, you know, very small differences, but they're all, again, very similar. The view, of course, is still amazing. And you can see out of the back a little bit better here and off to the side. Then we go up our next set of spiral staircases. This, by far, was probably the hardest one to go up and down. Again, no handrails, but also it was a little bit narrower than the other sets of staircases. And we're still in the first tower here. As you look out this window, you can see the third tower in the back, and you can see how much higher up you've gotten. And there's still one more story above this. So this is the third story, and this is the most different of all the rooms. You can see there's this wooden ceiling, and there's those stairs that go up, and then this is behind that wall. And this is where all these windows are. If you're not super familiar with medieval architecture, these areas right here where you would be shooting out bows, or sorry, arrows from, with your bows, or you could be dumping something out of those, like they would use like hot liquid and stuff. And then this was what was up those stairs. It's just like a storage room, maybe a, I forget if they said maybe it was servant quarters because there was a little fireplace there. So I don't remember, but it was pretty cool up here. Just a little nerve wracking to go up and down. You can go back down to the second story or the second floor and you can cut through to the other third and uh, second and third towers. And the third tower, the kids did go all the way up to the tippity top so that was kind of cool we as the adults didn't the doors <laughs> chained like, up like don't steal our doors like ooh, and i love these vaulted ceilings i love that so what is Okay, so the trail's back there. There's what, two more staircases? There's like four dead pigeons there. Well, don't touch the dead birds. He touched them with his foot. Did you get vertigo? We came back down and here's just another view of the courtyard. We had just been up in the third tower here in the back, which I'll show you. That's where the quote traumatizing experience came from, which wasn't really, but they were, we were just at that large window here at the bottom of the screen and they were the smallest at the tippity top. So right before we really headed out, I did circle back to go look because this is like where the kitchens were. So it was like kind of underground, but not. And I think that was just to keep a lot of the heat 
away from the rest of the castle for when they were cooking. And then we really did, like, it was super cool to see, but then we really did go out. We walked around the grass a little bit. The kids were really just done. They did not want to go walk the trail around because you can walk around the entire thing. So as you're walking out, there is a restaurant. So if it's open, that might be a nice place to stay and get something to eat. But the parking lot is right there. Parking is free, by the way, which is amazing. And it was really inexpensive to get into the castle. So this is a really nice, like inexpensive, quick kind of trip. All right, so that's it from us today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel, and we hope you have a great day.